Hi everyone, happy December. Snow globes are one of my favorite things about Christmas slash December. When I was little, I saw the Santa Claus in theaters. And in the Santa Claus, there was a snow globe. And ever since then, I have been obsessed with snow globes. My very first snow globe was this one. And I got it the Christmas that I saw the Santa Claus. And it has Santa in it. And he's coming down the chimney. And so he's coming through the mantle. And there's a little girl. She's sleeping on the chair. And there's a cat sleeping by her. And it has a Christmas tree. And on the bottom, you twist it and it plays a song. See if you can guess what this song is. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Did you get it? What I also love about this snow globe, it has bells and a red ribbon. It has a bunch of holly all around it. And so I've had this snow globe for 20-ish years, possibly 25. If you dip it down, turn it upside down, all of the snow comes down. And so that's really special to me. And that's why The Santa Claus 3 is my favorite movie out of the whole franchise. Because it has that snow globe scene where every Santa in the past has had a snow globe. And so, yeah, I love snow globes. And speaking of snow globes, guess what I got in the mail? It says, create your own snow globe. Step one, think of your favorite place. Your favorite place could be school or the library or your bedroom or some place cool that you have visited, like St. Louis or Kansas City. Step two, draw a picture of it inside the snow globe. Step three, imagine that you are there. Two summers ago, I visited Waco, Texas. Waco, Texas is 10 hours and 21 minutes from JC. It's about 647 miles. I was down there two summers ago because I was visiting my brother, who only lives about an hour from Waco. In Waco, the silos are really popular. Do you know what silos are used for? Silos are used to store grain. We use that grain to make cereal. I am going to draw the silos in my snow globe. Now, before I start drawing, please remember I am not the best artist, but I am trying my best. Okay, so I am going to grab a pencil for this activity because it has an eraser. And I have a feeling I'm going to be erasing a lot. Okay, so I've pulled up a picture of the silos on my computer. So now I'm going to look at it and try to draw what I see. So I gotta go up and I gotta go over and then I gotta go down, and down, and then I gotta connect the two buildings together. Because silos, that means more than one. And I kind of got to make it round. And there's like this house on the top. 
So I gotta make, kind of looks like a mini silo on the top. So I gotta put that on the top, look down. And then there's a bunch of lines on the silo. On the silos, there's a bunch of lines. So, oops, I don't have enough spacing. Oh, nuts. I'm putting my lines too close together. There we go, that's better. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom. That's what I said, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Okay, so now the other silo looks like it's about shorter. It's a little shorter. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. Has the same amount of lines, but it looks a little smaller. Weird. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And then there's like this uh, thing that you can get up and walk on, which that would be a little too scary for me. I don't want to do that. Okay, and there's like these bars to prevent people from falling through or to hold on to. And then same thing over there. Okay. Are you ready to see my drawing? Drum roll, please. Ta da! Oh, that doesn't look like the silos, does it? <laughs> Oops. What favorite place did you draw in your snow globe? Tell me in the comments. Bye.